Hello friends, Pastor John here with Legacy Christian Fellowship. Let me ask you men, do you feel like a leader today? A really good and godly leader? Well, probably not. And that's because it is not in our human nature to be good leaders. In fact, it's more in the character of the ladies to be a leader like Jesus. Jesus was compassionate, he was nurturing, he was thoughtful, he was a great listener. All of those things required to be a servant leader in a Jesus style is way more apparent, at least in my experience, in the ladies of the church and not in the men of the church. Nonetheless, in the toxic culture of Crete, the Apostle Paul called Titus to remain in Crete, to set in order the things that are lacking, and to appoint elders, to appoint leaders in the churches, in the groups of believers in these cities. And so what does that challenge us to do? That challenges us to examine our own leadership style and to see whether we are taking that authority that God has given us for loving pro protection and provision and taking it and either abusing it to, to get our own way, that not be, that's not servant leadership, or by abdicating that responsibility to say, well, that's hard. I'm just gonna let somebody else do it. I mean, somebody else is maybe naturally better at this anyway. And so we remove ourselves as the protector, spiritually speaking, of the women and children of the church. And the church is lacking that headship. Now, this requires greater faith for men to lead. And that is God's point, I am convinced. In any decision in your life, God's going to ask you. He's going to require that you, that you examine what decision, which direction is going to require the greater faith. Not just what makes the most sense, and certainly not what feels the best. That'll get you in more trouble than you know what to do with. But what is the decision that requires the greater faith? For men to lead like Jesus requires a moving of the Holy Spirit in us. It requires humility. All of these things that actually don't feel the best, but they are the best. Why? Because in all of this, it's not about me, it's not about you, it's not about men, it's not about women. It is about the model given us of the headship of Jesus Christ over the church, his love for the church and the church's loving submission to the head we have a model, and when we do not follow the model of Christ and His church, we follow an inverted, unhealthy model of the world, and unfortunately, it creeps into the church every day. So let us follow our God-given model through Christ Jesus and depend on the Holy Spirit, because that's the only way, men, we're going to lead well. And that is the only way, ladies, to be in loving submission. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel right, but that's our flesh. Let's make sure that we are following God's plan, and in that, we are under His greater protection and provision. This is what the Lord has for the church, and we cannot suddenly buck that system because of the toxicity of our culture, because that is exactly what was going on in Crete, and that is exactly what's going on today. So let's stick to the model we've been given, Christ and His church and love it, and lead, and submit to one another. Let us do this all by the renewing power of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen? Okay, that's all for now. God bless you. We'll talk very soon.